explore Gombe. Welcome to Gombe State, the jewel in the savannah, the rising star from the northeast. Gombe State was created 1st of October 1996 out of the former Bauchi State, covering a total area of about 20,265 square kilometers. The state has 11 local government areas and shares common boundaries with Bauchi, Borno, Yobe, Taraba, and Adamawa states of the northeastern geopolitical zone of Nigeria. The state has relatively about 18 local languages, vegetation that is predominantly of Guinea savanna type, and average rainfall from 700 mm southwest at the extreme northern part of the state to 1,000 mm towards the south and southwestern parts of the state. The state has so much to offer from natural beauty, historical heritage to cultural diversity. The capital is fast growing and in meeting the demands of the fast growing city, charming boutiques have opened, schools, universities for quality education, hotels for your decent accommodation and classy hospitality, bakeries, joints for hangouts, good restaurants, also that offer local and continental cuisine to cater for your indigenous and international taste. No doubt, your taste boards will have a story to tell when you pay one of these eateries a visit. When it comes to marketing, the state offers best opportunity for business to strive. With its rapid growing economy, not eastern central location, about 3.5 million population of consumers. It is an important target destination for local and foreign products and services. New modern markets and malls have also opened within the state. With recent discovery of crude oil in Kashiri and coal in Bojude, mineral resources tapped and yet untapped. The state is a potential hub for investors and investors stand to benefit from friendly investment government policies, comfortable atmosphere for business, quality roads, and airport linking the state to the rest of Nigeria and the world. Explore Gombe is the window where you see the abundant talents, natural beauty, cultural diversity, and historical heritage in Gombe. Explore Gombe. To connect you to Gombe from diaspora, to connect investors to Gombe, to connect tourist visitors to Gombe. We take a look into two years of unprecedented achievement of Governor Muhammad Inwaya Hayas administration and also the message of His Excellency to the people of Gombe State as we celebrate 25 years anniversary. Explore Gombe. Explore Gombe. Explore Gumbi. Okay. Uh, gentlemen, you are welcome. First and foremost, uh, like you requested, my name is Atari uh, Majid Alda Zambu. We the grace of God and that of the, His Excellency, the Governor of the State, uh, Muhammad Bin and Commissioner for Education of the State. Uh, the state was created 1st October 1996. And um, the past administration, they have done a lot in terms of uh, putting Gombe on the path of development. We have had, I think, about uh, the military administrator, and we have had Civilian administration who started with uh, Abu Hashid of blessed memory uh, and to the present one from Abu Hashid to Danjuma Goje, Danjuma Goje, and Angombo. And here we are with, uh, uh, here we are uh, with uh, His Excellency Governor uh, Muhammad bin Now, like I said, Two things have happened as far as it affects like, education. Number one, uh, there has been growth in population. 
when Gombe was created, I don't think the population of the state was as it is now. It is now being projected that the population of the state is, is 3.4 million. And the greater part of the population, uh, about 60 to 70 percent, is that of the youth and maybe small children. So what does that translate to? Of course, you know that those who are supposed to go to school are the children and then the young men. And um, you can see that over the years there has been growth in education. Why? Because there is growth in population, that is number one. Uh, number two, if we look back in recent years, we found that uh, because of the, our placement, because of our proximity to some of these insurgent states, you can see that uh, a lot of people have immigrated to Gombe. They have immigrated to Gombe because they are looking for a safer heaven or safer locations with a view to settling. And Gombe, by the special grace of God, is a place that is very relatively peaceful in comparison, not just only to, uh, to the northeast subregion, but the entire north. So you see the influx of people. And what is this translating into? That there is pressure on some of the facilities or some of the sectors. For instance, I can mention in terms of health facilities and in terms of educational facilities. And uh, over the years from 1996 to date, we can see there has been tremendous growth in terms of school enrollment, in terms of number of educational institutions, and in terms of uh, even the infrastructure we are building as far as uh, uh, schools, you know, as, as far as the establishment of, uh, as far as strengthening the educational sector is concerned. And uh, don't forget too, in spite of this growth, we, the, the, the resources coming to government has not really changed. But then the demand has expanded. I can tell you now that the population of, uh, let's say, school-going children that we have in the state is about a million. It's about a million. Uh, if you take in terms of uh, secondary schools, uh, now the number of senior secondary schools that we have in the state, hmm, it has grown to about 154 senior secondary schools. For the for the junior schools and plus a, a plus a primary school, we have not less than uh, two 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 thousand all over. There is hardly any community. There is hardly any village. There is hardly any area you go that you don't have a school. Either that school is government established or even community schools or even private schools. And most of these schools that we have, they are they are all depending on government. So this this figure that I gave you in terms of population of uh, of students that you have in the state and in terms of uh, this is just public schools alone and in terms of the number. So that is the, 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 in a nutshell, what I can say. The progressive journey of education in Gombe State 1996 is that it has continued to expand. And it keeps on expanding. And I've told you the two reasons why it keeps on expanding. Population growth and two, the immigration of people into Gombe because it's a safe zone. Okay. And uh, there's always that pressure. Um, we'll be flagging up distribution of uh, textbook and other uh, materials to schools. That, that Tuesday, well, I'm inviting you on Tuesday, Tuesday next week, come, so that you will show the world, so that you will tell them, you will educate the public to know what this administration is doing as far as the education sector is concerned. But there are so many challenges, and I can tell you the major one. You know the major one? Incidentally, in spite of the fact that people are clamoring for their children to go to school, in some of the rural areas generally, we have the challenge of students or people attending school. And that cannot be the problem of the government, it's the problem of the community. The community members will come and say they want school. You establish the school, government invests in building, government invests in uh, deploying teachers to those schools. Unfortunately, the attendance is poor. My message to people of the state is that 
Number one, we have a governor that his priority, number one priority he has for this day is education, in spite of other things that he is doing, in spite of the health that he's tackling those challenges, in spite of the road infrastructure, number one education is at the heart of this administration. Well, the visit here is to really distribute some necessary uh, equipment to some schools with the hope that the students will make good use of this and improve on their educational pursuit. Thank you very much. First of all, like we always say, a building is no school. Students with a building is no school. But we are giving them writing materials. We are also protecting them from their health. That's why you see that they have face masks, they have hand sanitizer and the infrared thermometer. If you are not well, you cannot read. So we want to make sure that they are well before they read. And that is what our appeal is that whatever is there, you people also should help in any way you can do to make sure that the literacy rate in Gombe is improved. Thank you. There has never been any administration that has given education uh, its due like this administration. So my message is that all of us, irrespective of where we belong, whether we are in party A or B, let's support this government. And the support we can give to this government is to complement the effort the government is doing in the education sector, of which number one, to ensure that our children go to school. Any uh, other school child, we must uh, put hands on deck to ensure that all these children go back to school.